how has everything changed? How, how, how has the atmosphere changed maybe in the last uh, couple of weeks since international break and obviously since the change of mind? Um, nothing's really changed massively. Um, it, like I said a bit earlier, it, it's, it's been positive. Um, it wasn't massively negative before. Um, we now do have a new manager, um, so there is a sense of trying to impress the, the new manager, so it's a little bit more intense in, in, intensity in training. Um, but as a whole, um, it's, it's still still similar because half the team is new, so they don't, um, don't have the effects of last season. And the players that are still here are, are you know, ready to go. I don't want to linger on it too long because I know it's a, an uncomfortable subject to talk about, particularly for players. Mm -hmm. um, but what did you make of the whole situation with Sabri going and, and then Chris coming? It's, you know, Sabri, um, for me, I was, I was quite close with him. He, he's a good manager um, and a great guy. So, but on a personal note, obviously, it's, it's, it's not good for him, but it's it's one of those things football he understands that everyone understands that football is results based um and we wasn't quite getting it right so that is what happens and then obviously we've brought in another another good manager so it's it's positive um but it's also the reality of football i'm yet to meet anybody not that i'm trying to search them out but i'm yet to meet anybody that's got a bad word to say about chris you yeah have you dealt with him before? Have you, got, have you had any sort of... Like, no, no um, not on a personal, no. Um, but yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. I haven't, haven't heard a bad word. And I, I haven't got a bad word to say at the moment. Um, he's been good. Nice guy, thorough, with um, the coaching that he's put on so far. Um, so yeah, it, I can't, can't say anything else. Talk, talk me through a little bit about... The, those training sessions. I saw a clip where uh, Alex Mighton turned on the afterburners and left a couple of your teammates for dead. And I think it was Colback that tried to take his legs out, but he missed him as well. Mm. It seemed like there's an intensity there. Yeah, it, Alex does that quite regularly. So, um, yeah, someone's always trying to chase him. But it, training has been has been good. Um, like I say, it's, it's, it's natural. A new manager comes in, everyone wants to impress. Everyone wants to be in that starting eleven. So it always gives you a boost, um, but that is Alex every day, yeah. Does it give you renewed hope, renewed optimism going into fixtures? Just trying to think back to before the, the international break, going into um, you know, the game there at Bristol City. Does the mood in, in, in the camp feel different going into this weekend's game against Blackburn? I think some lads... Um, will have a boost amongst themselves. I do, I do think personally that you need to be motivated regardless. Um, every single game you need to be pushing yourself, no matter what's, ha what's happening. So um, for me, it's the same. I need to try and do well, but for sure, uh, psychologically, some lads will maybe feel it's, it's been refreshed a little bit and be looking forward to playing because sometimes you can it works both ways with winning as well. You can get into a rhythm of thinking you can always win and thinking you can always lose. So um, it, it, it's good that there is the refresh after having a, a, a poor start, yeah. And in Blackburn this weekend, what sort of test do you expect that? Difficult. Um, it was, it was, it was a good, seat, good, good team last season, so it'd be difficult. Um, physical, they moved the ball, a lot of rotation and stuff. Um, so we'll be working on the new things. Uh, still a little bit of trial and error with some of the new stuff, but we'll, sit, we'll definitely be trying to get the win because we're, we're a good team.